What's your big takeaway from this one? Uh, you know, we got to get better. You know, got to get back to work. We got a um, division game next week against Carolina, but we definitely didn't go down how we expected today. And um, we just got to get better, go back to work. What makes Joe Burrow so tough? He goes over 400 yards today. And I think he got a really good, solid core, you know, support on the outside. And uh, he did a good job of just giving them the chance to make the play. And uh, they made it a lot today. And, uh, you know, they got a good set of skill, good quarterback. And, I mean, it Coach Smith touched on this when we heard from him. Slow starts on the road, the three road losses. You went down 20 plus in all of them. What's led to that in your mind? You know, I don't know. We got to figure it out, though. We got to be better. Um, definitely starting on the road, and, um, you know, and uh, we just don't want to put ourselves in that position. It was good to see us come back, fight back, but uh, we got to be able to keep the foot on the gas and one not fall back so early, and then be able to continue to accelerate as we keep playing. There's a lot of next man up on defense. You know, what do you think of a guy like Cornell Armstrong gets elevated from the practice squad yesterday, going out there and battling the whole game? Man, it's always good to see guys come back and get an uh, opportunity to play um, on the NFL field, man. And you know, that's a dream come true for guys, man. So to be able to see them go out there, have them opportunity. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely all love and um, somebody that we know we definitely believe in, but um, it's always good to see them come back and have a good opportunity. Do you think it was their plan? Did it seem like their plan to spread you guys out, especially with the secondary injury? It seemed like they went a lot of four or five wide. You know, we got to go back, go to tape and look. You know, uh, I think it's a little too early to assume, but, mm -hmm. you know, too early to speak on exactly what they were trying to do, but, you know, they had a good plan today and, they, and they're winning the game. That said, you guys still tied for the lead in the NFC South. You're not even to the halfway point of the season. Where do you feel this team is right now? You know, I feel like we're getting better week in and week out, you know. Um, and we're learning from our losses, learning from our shortcomings. But it's still a lot of optimism going forward. And um, we just got a group of guys that believe in each other so much and know that our, our best football is still ahead of us. You know, we just got to go get that game, make it happen. Um, just, you know, playing fundamental ball, back to the basics uh, as a team. And, you know, we may have came short in a couple other drives, but you know we'll, we'll get it fixed and get so right next week. Y'all get it to 17 to 28. Like, okay, let's go out here, handle. Uh, what, what were y'all? What was the mindset that y'all were still trying to fight back to get in the game? So just keep punching. We never gave, never was thinking about giving up, and just you know keep fighting all four quarters. Did you think you were they were, they were going to overturn the catch at the goal line? Did you think you were going to get a touchdown there? I didn't think my body was in, but yeah. it, it, it shook the way it did, and we still scored. So that was a positive part. De definitely, and you know, we're, we're still resilient as a group to keep fighting every every drive and don't give up. So that's something that you know we'll never give up. You know, all all throughout the year. Yeah, man, uh, they got a, a good bunch. Uh, we said early in the week those guys could have went to any team, been receiver one. Um, they took advantage of plays, and uh, you know we just gotta we gotta just do better next week. When you look, talk about those big chunk yards, too, I think, I don't know how many they had, but there was a significant amount of 20 plus yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not something that this defense finds itself on. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of change that moving forward? You got to get in the film, man. That's the only way. You got to get in the film and make corrections uh, and fast, you know, but I think this group can do it. We've been doing it all year. Um, we just got to respond. You might have been asked about this already, but what was it like to see a guy, you know, like Cornell and his call up from practice squad yesterday out there battling the whole game? Yeah, that's my boy, man. Uh, OTAs, he had a great OTAs. Uh, uh, injury came out, but he's back now. Um, we all just going to learn from this, man. We're just going to move forward. Hopefully you guys get lots and lots of good injury news on everybody, right? But moving forward in the next week and, and in the future, what are you guys going to need to do with, you know, the next man up, whoever's out there to, to you know, have a better show on next time? I mean, we all got to play better. I mean, we got to. A great opportunity to hit, man. Uh, right now, you know, it, this is this is a tough one, you know. But tomorrow we're gonna get in film, make some corrections, and try to take advantage of the opportunity that's in front of us. What's it like? He's not a wrestler. In that situation, what's it like when a guy's throwing for 480? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even keep up with yards. I don't keep up with who's catching it, anything. Uh, I know they're moving the ball, and our job is to stop them. So you know, we didn't do that today. But like I said, we're gonna get in here. Um, we serious about we serious about this team. We serious about what we got and uh, just make some corrections, man. Keeping the whole next man up thing away from it. Mm. You guys lose AJ or like you case last week. How do you mentally set that up as mm. a secondary? Like because it's still your top two guys and have been your top mm. two guys right. for a while. Right. I mean it's tough. I mean like you said, those are uh, starting the season. Those were our number ones. But I believe in the guys we got behind, man. Like right now is their time. Um, it was uh, Cornell's first game, first game back. Glad to have him back. And like I said, we're going to look at film. We're going to make the correction and move on.
<laughs> Honestly, man, every Sunday, man, we're going out there and we're yeah. just trying to put our best foot forward. I promise you I'm not keeping up with yours and, and all of that, man. We got to go one and over each week, and that's the mindset.